Hi, today we're going to be talking about the Women, Infants, and Children program in New Jersey, also known as WIC. This is a disclaimer. We are not professionals. Any information we say in this presentation can be found at the New Jersey State WIC website, and the link is shown below. So what is WIC? The New Jersey Supplemental Nutrition Program for Women, Infants, and Children is commonly known as WIC. WIC is a successful public health nutrition program that provides wholesome food, nutrition education, and community support for eligible women who are pregnant or postpartum, for infants, and for children up to five years old. This is for anyone who is already in the WIC program for any updates regarding COVID-19. Due to the pandemic, the list of foods eligible to be purchased with the WIC uh, card or check has been expanded so you can find out what type of foods you can get with the WIC um, at the link shown below. Eligibility. To qualify for WIC, you must fall into one of the following categories. Uh, you must be either pregnant, um, a woman who has delivered a child in the past six months, uh, you are breastfeeding, and you delivered the child in the last year, or you have any infants and children under five years old. However, you must also fall into these categories. You must have a medical condition or you know limited access to nutrition that could cause a health risk. You must also live in New Jersey and meet the income guidelines. And so these are the income guidelines. Uh, participation is limited to those whose gross income is less than or equal to the following guidelines according to family size. So let's say you're a family of four. So annually, you must either make around $48,470 or less than that in order to be eligible. For any non-citizens, you do not have to be a US citizen to apply for this program. You just you must be able to show proof of income, proof of residency, and just proof of identity. These are different ways of applying. Um, you can apply for the WIC program by contacting your local WIC agency and scheduling an appointment. And you can find your local agency or office with a link below. When you apply for WIC, um, when you arrive for your appointment, you must ensure that all applicants in the family, including children, are present because you'll need to show the following materials, the proof of identity, um, either proof of pregnancy, proof of, you know, that just concerns like, you know, if you're breastfeeding, if you're pregnant, uh, you must also show your proof of income and residency. And these are examples of the things you can show. So for proof of household income, um, any tax returns, any SNAP, any child support checks, proof of residencies could just be driver's license, a regular ID, a water bill. Proof of ID um, could be a driver's license. Uh, like I said, you don't have to be a citizen. You can show your green card. Uh, you can show a work or school ID. And for infants and children, you must show hospital records or adoption papers or birth certificate, anything that just proves who they are. And you must also bring their immunization records. Additional materials. So you will also need a healthcare referral form completed by your doctor or you know your healthcare provider. Um, so this is if this is them. Um, confirming that you are pregnant or you are breastfeeding and you need a certain formula. Um, you also need your children's universal child health record filled out by the healthcare provider and you can get that form there. And like I said before, you do need their vaccination records. So what are the benefits of this program? They include checks for nutritious foods, nutrition education and counseling, breastfeeding education and support, immunization screening and referrals, referrals for free or reduced cost health care, and referrals to health or social services. What are the next steps if you are approved for WIC? 
Um, so you can check your appointments, check your balance, and upload any documents they may request at this website. And to start their program, you do receive a monthly cash value voucher that can be redeemable at over 900 stores. And you can find an approved store that you know accepts the WIC program with that link. Vouchers can also be used to buy a variety of healthy foods and the full list can be viewed at the bottom. More on the cash voucher program. Mothers are eligible to receive $11 per month in CVV while children from ages 2 to 4 are eligible to receive $9 per month in CVV. From June to November, WIC participants can use farmers market checks at eligible farmers markets. Mothers and children ages 2 to 4 can receive $20 per month in farmers market checks. These are some alternative options if you are not accepted for the WIC program. You can apply for the New Jersey SNAP, New Jersey TAMF, um, the Commodity Supplemental Food Program, and those are for low-income seniors at least 60 years of age, uh, or the Senior Farmers Market Nutrition Program, which provides locally grown produce to seniors. For more resources and videos, please go to our website stated above. And if you have any questions, you can contact us at our email or phone number. Thank you.